Okay, so in the first lesson, we uh, basically just uh, toggled an LED uh, using any pin we wanted. And this is what the code looks like. Uh, let's take it one step further. Let's do a traffic light. So we're going to need a couple more LEDs for that. Uh, namely, a yellow one and a green one. I'm going to copy the resistor um, and let's hook them up to uh, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to press 4 to change the color. Actually, um, yeah, we can uh, set the wire color <coughs> to be the same color as... So if I press this wire in 2, then it's red. Uh, and then let's do the green wire. Uh, I press 5 to get the green color. Okay, awesome. That's uh, all of the traffic lights connected to pin 2, 3, and 4. We've color-coded them to be able to see better. Um, and uh, let's do some definitions first. So I'm going to do hash define uh, Let's just do red, uh, set that equal to 2, hash define yellow, set that equal to 3, hash define green, set that equal to 4. Um, so now our processor knows that whenever we type in red, yes. so we don't have to memorize what, where the pin is. We've, we've defined a macro where if we type in red, um, the compiler is going to go and find all these reds and put in two for us. Uh, so I can just do red, uh, yellow, and green uh, instead of two, three, and four for the pins, uh, which makes it a little bit more intuitive. I can even do red here. Uh, and let's uh, initialize all of these pins to outputs. So I'm just going to copy and paste and then change this to yellow and green here. Okay, so the processor is going to run um, and it's going to go, okay, red, and it's going to find two, two, and set it to the output. It's going to go find yellow, it knows yellow is three, it's going to put in three here, uh, and so forth. And it's going to, so now we have initialized all of these guys. Let's do um, a traffic light where we have this one on for three seconds, one second, three seconds, one second, three seconds. Okay, so let's keep the um, the red one on for three seconds then. So we can just put three here. Uh, we turn it off. Um, turn off the red one. Um, turn on the, the yellow. Uh, okay, well, let's just keep that on for one second. Um, and then we have to turn it off. Okay, and then uh, let's turn on the green one. Uh, let's wait for three seconds. So I'm just going to copy this part. Actually, we need to alter that code like that. Make sure the comments reflect what's actually going on. Uh, and then we need to turn it off. Okay, let's, let's see if I've done this correctly. The red one is going to turn on. It's going to wait for three seconds. Then it's going to turn off. Then the yellow is going to turn on, <laughs> stay on for one second, uh, then it's going to turn off, then the green one is going to turn on for three seconds, then it's going to turn off. And then we wanted the yellow back on again. Uh, just for another second, so that it doesn't jump up to red immediately. 
Okay, let's comment the code to make it easier for the next engineer that comes along. And we also have to turn it off. Okay, so let's see if we've successfully built a traffic light. The red one's on for three seconds. Okay, so the yellow never turned on. This thing's only flashing for three seconds. Um, turn on. Oh, no, I know why. Okay, I'm so stupid, but now it works. Okay, so make sure you complete the circuit like I did not do. Okay, so there's a simple traffic light. This was an exercise just to take the first lesson one step further to include a couple of more pins and also preprocessor directives such as the macros for the red, yellow, and green. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.